way into it before I was. Yeah, he, this nigga. Back in 2000 when I first started. No, we started in 2000. No, we started in 2002. First group started in 2002. Yeah, 2002. Two, um, first, the first record from anybody that's uh, affiliated was called All Siders. You know, the first, first record. Yeah. Oh, no, it was just, it was just, it was, was one of those bars back there, yeah. like, poof, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 probably, get, probably see somebody with that CD and probably go snatch it and break it, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's when I, you know, I started getting, like, people around me that was rappers, you know, it was 2 John, Dodo, um, Burn. Burn was all, he was kind of advanced in some of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, he had a little lyrics, but some of us was just like, we just doing this for the hell of it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> we wasn't even like, you know, we was like, whatever, we gonna get on tracks and put it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't even serious until we came out with a, um, uh, our first our first joint was a uh, Go and Get On Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first joint was Go and Get On Go. That was the first joint we did with this ourselves. We just put that together. I did all the tracks on it. You know what I'm saying? Then we just wrapped in the, uh, basically had a, in the, in the living room with mic stand, Pro Tools. You know what I'm saying? Then we upgraded to the shower? Yeah, right. <laughs> we did just business. We upgraded to the shower. Upgraded to the shower with the, the fuzzy. Then we put the fuzzy in the shower. Then upgraded to the real studio. Yeah. We, yeah, we've been a long you know way. Saying? Now, it used to be hard to make a song. Now it's like, oh, come on. Oh, you're that. Let's go. Or sometime I come in the studio, it'll be already done. He already has some stuff done. Or if he come in the studio, it'll be something done. And then after that, Get On, Get On, Go, it was an album we had put together that uh, was called uh, Just Business. Right, yeah. just business, you know. That was helped by uh, a couple other people that I don't really want to mention right now. But you know, it was put together and it, it just went sour. Money was made off the album, but somehow it just, it just went sour. So like, you know, that was, that's that's another album. Yeah, we was working like slaves down in Denver. We was everywhere, man. That shit was mm -hmm. dope. That shit was fucked <laughs> <laughs> up. Like you didn't get paid. You didn't get paid. Right. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. It's cool though. No hard feelings. So we was like, fuck, we just gonna go ahead and do the uh, the trap boy thing, put out a CD right quick. Just to do it, you know what I'm saying? And they call it they call it quick a little buzz wherever we was at. And we ended up end up putting out two more CDs. Um called we re really put out a. Uh, Right on day, hustle all night, the trap boys. Go and then we did uh, I Go Hard. That was the new. My other sweat stuff real we did. nice. Crying all day and hustle all night. It's not really a group, it's a, it's a label. It's a, some, it's some, of, some of us is groups and some of us are solo artists. Keep the name Stingy. See, we didn't, the group we had, we didn't want the name Stingy to die because we had people that knew who Stingy was. So we was like, what we gonna do is that letting the name die. We was like, we're just gonna name it a record label called Stingy Entertainment. Me and Cali put our money together and started it. You know what I'm saying? We didn't want the name to die because we felt like the name was good and we felt like the Just Business album was like, okay, they some rapper. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. We hear them now, you know? So that felt like, <clears throat> that's why we felt like we can't let the name die. So that's what we made Stingy Entertainment. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Yeah, I was laughing with everything. I've been through, you know. Yeah, I've been through a lot. You know, no time, you go through time, you know what I'm saying? So, most of the rough times, yeah. Most of the songs is... You go through that, you know, it's going to be... Whatever you're feeling when you get in the studio, that's what you're going to write about. So, if you're feeling mad, you're going to write about that shit. When you go pull up in a new car, you jump out the studio, you're going to go write about that. You got money in your pocket, you're about to go write about it. <laughs> How you feel? Oh yeah, we did. We did a whole bunch of shows. We did this summer. We did a couple, and we did like seven. We did a seven city tour. We did the whole thing over like twice. That's how good it was. We gave about. We had about twenty thousand CDs. We passed out half of them. I mean, I can't. I can't really. I mean, you got supporters, but I can't really tell you because I just live in Lincoln. I don't. I mean, I know there's a couple people out there that's pretty hot, though, you know, but it's in, you got a couple people that's not even, shouldn't even be, like, pressing music, though. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's like, <laughs> it was like a couple rappers when we got out there, but, like, now it's like, shit. About 50 of them motherfuckers. Yeah, but it's cool, <laughs> like, though. Damn, that's man. good, though. We yeah, gave them good something to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of rappers out there right now. You, know, you can do shows out there, and it, it'll do pretty good for some local, for some local talent around there. 
Well, before it was with Pac, he had it. He had it going towards more positive. You know, talking about what you're doing with your life and how your life been. Now it's just dances. Dancing. Dancing. They making up a dance and they going with it. So pretty much, yeah. I like the old school rap better. Yeah. Mm, how I feel about it is just like you got to think about it. That was that era of music. So that was that time, that feel of it. This time is a different feel. So it's like to the youth now, this music is great. But to the youth then, that music was great. So right now, it's like, you know what I'm saying? This is our music that time. Yeah, I'm not married. Yeah, I'm About saying, to 40, uh, don't get married. I'm not 40. Saying, uh, I ain't getting married. I have. <laughs> you want to tell them, nigga? I have, I have, I have four kids. Yeah, four? Oh, yeah. Damn. Um, Alasia, Junior, Madeline, and Kevin. Damn, that's a lot of kids. Boy, you been doing good job. You been having fun over there. And I adopted, I adopted one, though. We're going to take step by step, and day by day, you never know. Yeah, we trying to make it independently, yeah. so we ain't got to get the little dick in the booty yeah. as they go through, and the industry is rough. Uh, super. Man, we already tried it once, and we already got a little, we like, fuck that, we <laughs> done with y'all. We got a little taste. I'm going to send a message to get your money up. Make sure you be fresh every time you step out, and don't be slacking on your pimping. <laughs> that's, we, we, that's what our message is, truthfully. Stay, keep your mind right. Be free to hate on us. I want to shout out to all the people out there, the local rappers trying to get their music together. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. If you're doing your thing, if you're not, you need to be doing your thing. You know, <laughs> simple shit, common sense. Um, bro. Man, MySpace me, Twitter me. Money talk bullshit while I'm coming soon. Catch me in the streets. DVD, I'm signing out. Stingy and T. Shit.